every will begin the event shortly. And also please do not forget to hashtag any image in the story or videos on your social media with the hashtag Seymour. to be at the forefront of this trend. We've invested in 5G technology, spending over 600 million US dollars on 5G R&D alone. And now we have over 500 industry experts working to make 5G come true. Besides that, we have also invested in artificial intelligence by manufacturing one of the world's first processor with an AI embedded chip inside, the Kirin 917. And of course, we take photography very seriously, and that gave birth to our collaboration with Leica. We don't just deliver faster connectivity speed, we deliver a holistic smartphone experience that encompasses everything a user would expect from the forerunners of an intelligent phone. That is why, if you look at our fast smartphones, from the P6 all the way to the P9, and then from the evolution of the P10 to the P20, we have achieved a big gap in technology. Combining the best angle to face the lighting, and we found it right just above her forehead. Decrease the intensity, and there you go. Let's try another a pro studio in the palm of your hand with a battery that can finally keep up with you. So how's this all possible? With this, a professional photographer, all in one tiny chip. Mastering photography has never been so simple. It's time to see more. And we will have a big event to celebrate the arrival of P20 in Malaysia. There will be an experiential roadshow at Sunway Pyramid and Sunway Carnival Penang starting this Friday. And if you want, you can also visit our Huawei pe uh, flagship store at Pavilion. Purchase the P20 and you will get a sport Bluetooth sports headphone and the VIP card. Early birds will get an additional Canon printer. All these gifts are while stocks last. Memang first aku akan tengok ni UV ni lah Stories 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 
ini kena letak Ini nak Deputy Country Director uh, of uh, Orbit Malaysia, Matthew Ng, and joining us this afternoon as well is Luke Al, the Product Marketing Director of Orbit Malaysia. So once again, thank you very much for joining us here for this year uh, 999, um, where you will get the AM61 Bluetooth headset together with the Canon, Canon printer, at the same time the VIP card, uh, which will give you a lot of privileges. Now, um, to answer the second part of the question, how is it gonna gonna impact the, the Malaysian Huawei business? Um, well, the Huawei P series uh, have grown year on year, uh, from the P6 all the way to P10. Uh, we expect no less. Uh, we expect the P20 to make another record-breaking um, sales. Uh, we don't exactly have a figure to chase after in reality because uh, we believe in fulfilling demands. So if there's great demand, uh, we will we will make sure that our phones are there, and um, if it creates a record, so be it. I guess, uh, but I guess the, the Malaysians are wise, and um, this will be a good phone, good addition to the uh, yeah, array of devices. Thank you very much, Matthew. Um, may I just also let you know that if you have any questions, please do raise your hands, uh, state your name as well as the publication that you are from, uh, and followed by the questions. Um, so before we, we go to you, uh, perhaps we can ask Luke as well. Um, so Luke, what are some defining features if the media uh, and the guests have not um, caught on to yet? What are some defining features that you'd like to highlight? With a night shot mode, you know, you, you really need a tripod for long exposure for, uh, photos as I mentioned just now. And right now, uh, you go out in your pocket, you don't need a tripod, you pull it out, you, you're, you're at a holiday, you have very night very nice night nice scenery, just pull out from your pocket the device, turn on the night shot mode and snap a six second long exposure shot and you will great, have great looking photos as I shared just now. So it's that simple, you go around your daily life and you don't need to carry anything with you and it's just there all in the P20. Thank you very much Luke. Um, we'll now open up. <coughs> so, uh, The twilight will be a bit uneasy, right? The twilight will be coming uh, at a later stage. At this point of time, we are not very certain when it will be coming. But uh, of course, our whole decision hinges on the demand of the overall P20 and P20 Pro. Uh, truth be told, it's a new color. It's a, a not very common color. Uh, uh, we really want to gauge the demand of the, the, the phone itself before we actually make a decision on bringing in this color. So at the moment of time, I would say, uh, not yet. Well, we hope that we can make it happen because, like I said, if, if demand is good, we bring it. Uh, we, we really want to see the demand first. Hello, uh, Najib from Sergi Chow. Then how about the Porsche design? Will it come to Malaysia also? Why we made that? Okay, um, we, we did very well for the previous two model of the Porsche design. Uh, however, this model I, I, I guess you probably would have seen the, the European presentation on the price point. We, we, we haven't decided on the price point for local Malaysia yet, but uh, it's, it's pretty pricey. Uh, but having said that, we will also have to take a look at whether if there is a demand enough for us to bring that device in. Uh, Huawei is a, a customer centricity company, that's our core value, and if there is demand enough for, for it, we will bring it in. Uh, we are really also uncertain at, at this point of time because uh, it won't be cheap. I uh, assure you that it won't be cheap. But so um, let us gauge the uh, whole accessory business. As you've seen, we are bringing in some covers. Uh, at our store level, we will actively get our uh, floor representatives to. to Try and pro consumers if they will find, uh, they will they will be accept, accepting this sort of product and, and, and what is the right price point, then we will make a decision to come in. But um, I personally really like it very much, so I hope the Asians will vote in favor of it and, and, and you know give us that sort of 
demand, you know, at, at, at points point of sale level, then we can it's, it makes it easier for us to make a decision to bring it in. Hi, uh, another question uh, for the Huawei Rewards. Uh, is this exclusively available for the P20 owners? And if not, is it going to be open up to all Huawei uh, users as well? Thanks. Uh, right now, it's exclusively for P20. Uh, moving forward, if really a lot of people ask for it for on other phones, I think we'll probably have to cave into pressure, consumer pressure. But right now, uh, at this point of time, strictly P20. Are there any questions uh, from people sitting at the um, Video capacity, where do I start? Uh, I, I particularly like taking videos when I'm on the go uh, in, a, in a vehicle, so, so that video stabilization works a lot well for me. Um, uh, uh, a little bit of showing off. Um, in the past, when I take photos, I can use a P P10 watermark on the photos. Uh, this time around, the videos, you can have watermarks also, so you can show off a bit, a bit of the <laughs> video capability of the Leica lens. So, um, uh, do try it out to, to get, get, get to know more about the, the video capability on the P20 Pro. Uh. Hi, uh, at, this, at this point of time, uh, uh, it's not available on 4K, but um, we will try and look into it on, in our R&D side and, and see how we can make advancements in the area also. Because 4K is really a big uh, sensitivity. <laughs> Uh, video recording, so uh, it takes a bit of uh, yeah. R&D mm. looking into. Okay. Thank you very much for all the questions that's been coming through. Um, I think uh, the the P20 is with the four plus one two eight, and um, the P20 Pro is at six plus one two eight. We we've we sold the the one two eight uh, rather well in Malaysia, and um, we've we've checked. Uh, so far, the one way somewhat is quite enough. Um, if we bring in a higher capacity, somehow we will have to probably price it higher. And uh, we are trying to make it uh, accessible to the mass. Therefore, I think for now, it will be at the 128. Um, but as mentioned, if there is a high demand, and like using Luke's word, we'll probably have to cave in the demand. And then we'll probably have to bring it in. But uh, for now, uh, there are no plans on the on the P twenty and P twenty Pro for my address. Uh, we are actually looking into it. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, uh, again, uh, yeah. We we out. <laughs> Our focus really is on the P20 and P20 Pro because really after the global impact, the demand for these two products is really very strong. So I, we really want to focus all our resources and, and capability on, on, on making this successful in Malaysia, uh, make more Malaysians have these two products. But uh, as for the next product, the P20, I don't know, you call it P20 Lite or whatever branding that comes along with it, we'll certainly look into it and uh, make plans for it. That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs>